Shalom. This is a new lesson for reading and learning Hebrew. It is at the advanced beginner level. If you already know your alphabet and your vowels and you're beginning to read, this will be a good lesson for you. Today we are going to cover three verses of Psalm 23, Mizmor Kaf Bet. Each slide will have a short phrase on it. I'll pronounce the phrase and give you time to repeat. The first time you see the phrase, it will have the vowels. Mizmor le David. The next slides will be without vowels. They will be broken down morphologically. Each piece of the word will be explained. If you see a caption at the bottom of the slide that says learn more about, you will find the corresponding video listed in the description. The mem of Ms. Moore is a noun prefix. The root of Ms. Moore is Zion Mem Resh. It comes with the meaning of plucking, as plucking a string to make a sound, or plucking a fruit off the vine. The Lamed of Le David is a preposition prefix. It can mean to or belonging to. David is David's name. A psalm or a song of David. Mizmor le David. Yehovah Roi. This is the four letter name of God. Some people say Yehovah, some people say Yehuah, some people say Yehoveh, some people say Yahweh. Some people will not pronounce the name at all. They will say Adonai or they will say Hashem. You are free to say whatever is your conviction. Ro'i. The root is Ro'eh. Resh ayin he. It comes from a verb root which means to feed or to put out to pasture. A ro'eh is a shepherd. The yud suffix here is a personal pronoun that means mine. Yehovah is my shepherd. Yehovah ro'i. Lo echsar. Lo is a small particle that means no or not. The aleph of echsar is a prefix for the first person future. I will do something. This verb root, chet samechrish, means if something is lacking or you don't have it, it's missing. I will not lack. Lo echsar. Yehovah roi lo echsar. Benoot desha yarabitseni. The bet is a prepositional prefix that can mean in. Naot comes from a word. Naa is a word that means pasture or abode habitation. The ot suffix is the feminine plural suffix. Desha is grass. It carries with it an idea of lush, green, fruitful grass. The yud prefix is for a verb for the third person masculine singular. He will do something. The verb root is resh bet tzadi usually applies to an animal of four legs. Either he is crouching or he is lying down. The ni suffix at the end is for me. In rich green pastures, he causes me to lie down. Benot deshe yarbitseni. Alme menuchot yenahaleni. Al is a preposition that means on or perhaps next to. Me is a special form of the word mayim. Mayim means water or water is plural. Me means waters of. Remember the prefix mem can be a noun prefix. The root of the word menuchot is nunchet. It has the idea of rest or comfort. You can recognize Noah's name, Noach. The ot is a feminine plural. The yud prefix is, he will do something. The root of this verb is nun he lamed. 
It means to lead along or to guide to a watering place, and it is related to the word for river. The ni suffix means me. By waters of rest, he will lead me. Alme minuchot yinahaleni. Binot deshe yarbitseni. Alme minuchot yinahaleni. Nafshi yeshavev. Nefesh is a noun that means soul. This yud suffix is the possessive, my. This yud prefix is the future tense for he will. The root for this word, shin bet, means to restore or to bring back. It is related to the word for to return. He restores my soul. Nafshi yeshavev. Yancheni b'ma'agale tzedek. This yud prefix is for he will. The root of this verb, nun chet he, means to guide or to lead. The ni at the end is for me. The bet is a prepositional prefix meaning in. This mem is a noun prefix. The root of this noun, ayin gimalamid, actually means half. The ma'agal with the mem is the idea of the path that the calf is treading. The calf is perhaps working a mill. He's causing the grinding stone to go around and around. Ma'agal carries with it the idea of circle or cycle. The yud suffix again shows the noun is in a special state of relationship to the next noun. The state is called a construct state. It means this, of, that. The paths or the cycles of tzedek is righteousness. He leads me in circular paths of righteousness. Yancheni b'ma'agale tzedek. Lama'an Shemo. The Lamed is a prepositional prefix to or for. Ma'an means sake. The word Shem means name. The suffix at the end O is a possessive pronoun his. For his name sake. Lama'an Shemo. Nafshi Yeshovev Yancheni b'ma'agalei tzedek l'ma'an shemo. Mizmor l'david Yehovah ro'i lo echsar benot deshe yarvitzeni al me menuchot yenahaleni nafshi yeshovev yancheni b'ma'agalei tzedek l'ma'an shemo.